my lovely peeps it's me Karen Frost at Nail Decadence thank you for coming back to my channel if you're new thank you for coming anyway I hope everyone is keeping safe and well and staying home following the guidelines for stopping the spread of corona but enough of the dismal stuff let's get on to the video so in this video I'm doing something a little bit different I'm using a poly gel type product um, this is something I don't use very often so I don't have an awful lot of experience with it to be honest and but I thought I'd have a play with it and this is what the outcome was I was quite happy with the outcome but, you know let's get through the motions so first things first I'm sculpting a clear base layer like I would if I was using hard gel or acrylic liquid and powder so first things first get that base sculpted out I've noticed when I was sculpting the base that because I'm pushing the products quite firmly it was moving my form so I had to keep readjusting my form to get it to sort of back to where it should be if you know what I mean I've part cured this so I've done a quick cure so I think it was 10 or 15 seconds and then I pinched it because that's as soon as it comes out of the lamp give it a pinch and that's how I'm going to do all the fingers is one at a time so I can get a pinch going so you see I'm applying my pinching tool there giving the nails a bit of a pinch and yeah so just a flash cure so that I'm able to give it a pinch that's all that's needed and obviously as I'm going along once I've I've done all the bases I'll give them a full cure once I've done them all right now I'm just using some of the cleanse that came with this system to cleanse my nail plate and dehydrate it and now I'm applying the base gel so this will form the sticky layer essentially for the poly gel product to stick to I'm using Protect gel um, unfortunately it's not being sold anymore but there are loads I mean absolutely loads of poly gel type products on the market so and I'm really quite late to the game with with poly gel products but like I said it's not something I use very often I'm, I'm a big fan of my acrylic. I love my acrylic the most. Then it's the Builder Gels. And yeah, so unfortunately, this type of product for me comes in last, but it's still fun to play with something different, you know? Once you, you know, get bored of doing the same old, same old, you try something new. And this was me trying something new, basically. And I had fun with it. It was great. It files really easy. I must say that it does file very very easily you do not need an e-file to file this stuff at all so soft it did last and held up really well as well after two weeks it was perfectly fine no lifting it was yeah it's good stuff very good stuff it's just hard for me to squeeze the tubes because of my fingers and the pain that I have in my fingers that's the only issue I have with it is, is squeezing the tubes other than that yeah it's great fun I must say I do end up playing with it a bit more than I should because you don't have to worry about the time of it setting or running anywhere yeah I do end up playing with it a bit more than I should but you know hey ho so at this point we have done the base so I have applied my bases I've filed them in a little bit and now I'm going in with the color I'm using which is called russet glow which is this how do you I don't even know how to describe this color it's like a sheer ready pink I don't know it's really hard to describe this color but it's beautiful love this color just something about it so I'm applying the 
colour and I'm going up around the cuticle area so I've applied it to the nail below the cuticle area and then I, I use dampen my brush with a slip solution and then I sort of push it up towards the cuticle area and then angle my brush to get the cuticle area nice and flush and then I pat and pull the product down to the rest of the nail. I'm doing it very thin towards the tip because I'm going to be applying some glitter which you will see and oh, my other, <coughs> excuse me, my little finger got stuck on the product that was on my ring finger so yeah just cleaning up my finger there. <laughs> Again, just making sure that cuticle area is nice and flush. That got even product. And you can see where I dip my brush, I do pat it from the kitchen towel so that it's not sopping wet. You don't need your brush sopping wet. And if it starts feeling like it's sticking to the product, you just dip your brush in again and carry on. But again, I'm manipulating that bead to where I want it and I'm doing a sort of cut out colour block type design on this nail so you'll see how I pat and press it into the shape that I'm after it's really fun to play with stuff I will say that but I do overplay with it because it is <laughs> it is fun to play with you've got all the time in the world it did take me a while to do this set because I did faff around with it a bit too much but yeah, I was poking out an air bubble there, so that's why I was digging at it like that. There was a bit of an air bubble there, so I sort of gave it a stab and popped it. <laughs> and now I'm running my brush right up that wall that I've built to get it nice and sharp. I will file it in as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm out of shot a little bit there. So I've not cured that little finger yet either. Bear in mind that is still uncured, so I'm just making sure that's still in place because my hands are all over the place. And if I bump into things, it will mess it up. Right, so this is still uncured, and I'm applying the glitter to the tip. I'm using it you know because obviously this product there right away to the end of the nail so I'm using that to stick the glitter into and then once I cure it it will hold the glitter in place so that I can cap them I'm just taking the little pieces of glitter and putting them where I want make sure I get those big pieces in there Once I'm happy with that, I'll give that a cure. Again, it's just a flash cure I'm giving it. So I flash cured that, and now I will apply the clear over the top. So squeeze your tube, scrape off a bit, and get that onto the nail. Then dip your brush into your solution, wipe off some on your kitchen towel, and then pat and press and get that glitter encapsulated so just like how you would with acrylic you just use your clear to encapsulate the glitter and it was very clear this clear I must say I didn't have any cloudiness or anything with it you could see the glitter perfectly through it once it especially once it was top coated you wouldn't have known that it was um, a poly gel type of product it was very very clear very impressive. As you can see, I'm just pushing, pushing. At this point, I'm also thinking about my apex, so I'm making sure my apex is there. So I'm putting the front of the bead down more than I did the back of the bead. And there wasn't quite enough to reach to the very, very end of the nail to cover that glitter. You can see I'm trying to pull a bit more down from the apex area, but it still wasn't quite enough, so I flash cured what I had on my nail and then added just a little bit more right to the very end of my nail and then again used my brush to pat and press it and draw it back and smooth it into the previous bead whilst covering that glitter and protecting it.
I'd say this stuff is is very good for experienced nail techs but also for beginners because you've got all the time to play with it without it running everywhere or hardening before you're ready so it is quite a good product for beginners definitely and I'm sure experienced nail techs will do this a lot faster than I do so on to the ring finger again I think I can't remember if I filed that in or not I don't think I did you know I think I was quite happy with the way it was I don't think I filed it in so I'm placing just a small amount of clear and I will use that to adhere my pieces of glitter so that's what I'm going to use next so just a very very thin layer of clear just to give the glitter something to stick into now I could have used the base gel for that or just any other normal gel for that but I wanted to just stick with the Protec gel so that's what I used you know, fighting with the glitter particles trying to get them where I want them so I'm using an old brush just to yeah, just an old cheap brush to use for the glitter so that I don't, I don't trash my uh, nice brush. I'm still trying to get those bigger pieces off. <laughs> Stick on there! And once I flash cure that it will hold those glitter particles in place. I've just got a little clean up brush and I'm just getting the rest, any glitter that's got onto the other colour that I've, the russet glow that I've applied just and making sure I sharpen up that line a bit I also dipped it into the slip solution as well so yeah just use that to clean up a bit add a bit more glitter where I've missed pieces or missed places should I say and it doesn't want to stick on and the struggle is real <laughs> so making sure the glitter part particles aren't riding up the side of the wall because then it will look untidy my line won't be as, as clean then so I've flash cured that for 10 seconds and then I'll apply the clear protect gel so that's what I'm doing now encapsulating those lovely glitter pieces so I don't fall into them needed a bit more so I'm adding that on I don't think I had cured that first layer of clear when I added more on I think I'm just adding it on and patting it into the still wet well I say wet but you know what I mean uncured product oh, sorry I keep going out of frame and it's going fuzzy so annoying not a lot I can do about that once it's done it's done you know but I've noticed I'm not in shot and I've come back in shot and then the camera goes out of focus ugh so annoying so I'm happy with that so I will cure that again just the flash cure will do and I'm using a 180 file a well worn 180 file because this stuff is really soft it's really easy to file and I'm filing that line in I wanted it to be a nice sharp line and again I'm out of shot I do apologize and then I'm using a lint free wipe and a bit of the cleanse solution cleansing the nail getting all the dust off and then I'll apply the next part which is russet glow onto butted up against that glitter line that I've made so it's kind of yeah well it is it's a color block nail a glitter color block nail I'm just making sure I've got the edges of my nails done make sure it's not too thick at the free edge and butt it right up against that clear that I put over to over the glitter oh, there's a bit of glitter stuck in it there and I was trying to get it out 
once you get glitter on something it gets it everywhere and as you can see I managed to spill my tray of glitter I don't even know how I did it I did it you know clumsy as anything it doesn't ma matter if the russet glow goes over the clear layer because I've built it quite thickly so I can file into it it's not a problem but I'm trying to keep as much off covering the clear layer as possible and so I've got less filing to do essentially and I wanted a bit more so I flash cured it and put an, another bead of the russet glow on top because I'm still really new to it like I said I'm not, it's not something I use a lot I never know how much to use so I'm estimating at this point how much I will need onto the middle finger and I've applied quite a big bead of the russet glow to the middle of the nail and then again in with the brush pat and pull and you can see the angle of my brush how I'm manipulating it around the cuticle area and fighting with glitter again of course <laughs> so I push it back where it, when, if it needs to be pushed back up I'll push it back up and then smooth it down the rest of the nail and I had a bit too much this time so I just used my tool to cut just cut a piece off it's not a problem have too much you just take it off again I'm, I'm keeping it very thin at the tip area it's just enough to, for me to tap my glitter into so as you can see I didn't cure it I left it uncured so that I can tap the glitter into it and give it something to stick to and again I will cap it with the clearest again to protect it just a, a glitter fade type of deal it's a simple design, simple set of nails but I thought they came out really nice it's an unusual colour, I really liked the colour so I flash cured that and so I will apply the bead of clear it was quite warm where I was working so the protect gel was quite um, soft, very soft indeed so it wasn't hard to manipulate with the brush at all it's just hard for my hands to squeeze things out of tubes like that but, but that's just because my hands are really weak so I don't think anyone else would have that um, that kind of problem. Well, I have trouble with toothpaste out of a tube, let alone anything else. Things are a mess. How's everybody coping? Hope you're all okay and not going stir crazy at home. See, for me, it's not a huge change to my lifestyle because. I'm pretty much housebound anyway so the only difference is, is having hubs and my um, son at home all, all day my daughter's away at the moment but um, so yeah I don't know when she's going to be able to come back lesser but um, yeah it's, it's, it's a bit strange for them because they're normally very busy and out you know my husband's a very outdoorsy kind of guy and my son likes being out so for them being at home all the time it's been a big change for them but for me this is this is my norm I'm, ha I'm pretty much housebound like I said so it's not really changed my life staying indoors but yeah I hope you all are keeping busy that's why I'm trying to get out as many videos as I can for you guys to just give you some some little distraction if I can you know so I'm hoping you guys will be enjoying the videos that I'm putting out I know they're not the best quality and I've got a lot of work to do with my camera but I'm trying, I'm getting there, they, they are improving slowly but surely, I'm not a cameraman <laughs> and I have to do it all by myself so whilst I'm doing the nails I do get engrossed in what I'm doing and forget to look up and see if I'm in shot or whether it's in focus so yeah, never mind, it is what it is eh? Whilst I was waffling on there, <laughs> we've I've applied it to the index finger 
and the same as what I've done on the little finger and the middle finger which was apply the russet glow at the cuticle area and basically fade it down towards the tip so that it's very thin there and use that to attach my glitter pieces and then I will cure, flash cure those in place and clear cap them. And they were sticking to my brush more than they were to the nail which is annoying but you know the struggle is real. Uh, <laughs> so yeah just nudging the glitter pieces where I want. So flash cured and now again with the clear layer on top. So dip my brush into the slip solution, wipe it off a little bit and pat that baby in place. So you can see the way that I angled my brush there to get it really neat around the cuticle area. I will say that it's really easy to get a good cuticle area, a nice smooth cuticle area with this stuff really 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 easy to get a nice smooth cuticle area with no step definitely so if there are any beginners out there if you can I mean like most places are professional only for buying products but if you are a home user and you can find somewhere that will actually sell to you to do your own nails I'd, and you want to start I'd say start with a poly gel type, acro gel type product because yeah it's a lot easier to work with than standard builder gel and liquid and powder acrylic so yeah definitely beginner friendly I'd say but don't faff as much as I do for goodness sake Ugh, it will take you forever if you faff like I do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I missed a bit on that corner there, so just added a tiny bit more clear. Pat that into the rest. And then I'll give them all a full cure. So time to remove the tacky layer now that I've given them all a full cure. Remove the tacky layer before I start filing and I'll file off camera and boom Bob's your uncle I'm back. <laughs> They're all filed and I've done my other hand. So yeah didn't take too much to file them like I said this stuff files really really easily and there's barely any filing to do at the cuticle area if you make it really neat. So, yeah all good. So I filed, dusted off, wiped, washed my hands and now it's, you know, the, the good old top coat time. I also wiped over with rubbing alcohol because even hand soaps have oils in them so that can disrupt your top coat. A lint free wipe, wipe them over with the rubbing alcohol and then go to you straight to your top coat. And look how beautiful that glitter is once you top coat. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I do love glitter. It's wonderful stuff. I've got a little bit on my skin there, just scraped it off my nail, which isn't the best thing to do, but I did it. Should have used a brush and alcohol to do that. Yep, you know, yep, yep. We do these things, don't we? I'm capping the free edge as I go as well. Just bounce the brush up by the cuticle area and then bring the product down. And you'll notice I don't go straight to the cuticle area when I'm applying the top coat. I start in sort of the middle of the nail, get brush it down a bit, get some of the top coat off the brush and then I'll go to the cuticle area so yeah uh, we're at the end of the video go now guys so I'll just apply some cuticle oil and then I'm done so thank you ever so much for watching stay safe be good to each other be kind to each other take care peeps and I'll speak to you all again soon hope you like this video please kick like kick 
click would be good <laughs> click like click subscribe and come back for another one take care peeps i'll speak to you again soon bye for now